So the whole reason I started these videos was I released a book called What a Flanker um, and a lot of people commented on my mindset, i.e. my approach to, um, to life, dealing with failure, dealing with success, dealing with media, dealing with um, ups and downs and everything in between and how to get the most out of your, your body, your mind and your, and your life. Obviously I'm still learning, I still reach out to other people, I don't think I've got it cracked by any means. So. Uh, I'm, you know, in doing these videos, it kind of reminds me what I need to do. It's kind of quite cathartic. We're also in lockdown. Um, and, you know, unlike my wife, who is much better at nutrition and health and fitness than I am, um, you know, she's absolutely, uh, you know, run off her feet and I'm sort of finding things to do. So one of the videos I wanted to talk to you about today was context. Now, context is absolutely lost online and in the real world. And what I mean by context is your view on the world is formulated by your experiences, your upbringing and what has happened to you. So you believe the, the world should be lived out in a certain way. Your life experiences are very different from mine. So for example, I have not lost anyone to COVID as of yet. So my experience of it is not filled with uh, the impending doom and dread that other people have experienced, and rightly so, because it is a global pandemic. I am, for example, not like one of our brave, incredible NHS workers who is, is dealing with stuff that would break the average person. The amount of pressure they're under, uh, the hours they are working, it's like mind boggling. But again, that is their reference point. So when you're going along about nutrition and health and, and, and you know, people with eating disorders, uh, people who are super obese, people who are um, malnourished in whatever aspect, you know, you have to take context into it. Some people are physically going through this, so their emotions are extremely raw about it. Uh, but they forget, just to, I haven't forgot, but people forget that their shit is their shit and that other people don't necessarily understand it and they can't understand how you don't understand how life is for them and their experiences. That's why when you ask a, a room of 500 people an opinion on something, you get 500 different opinions and some of them are so left field and so outlandish that you just have to sort of go, oh my God, what the hell are you talking about? You come to a general consensus with some, others are kind of outliers, and then you get a kind of a, a real uh, different mix. For example, when I talk about health, nutrition, and understanding, I'm not a single mother trying to feed four kids on a budget, under pressure, working three jobs. So in my ivory tower, it's very simple for me to say that these things can be changed. However, there are certain unified elements that we can discuss and talk about where context actually doesn't... Um, you know, need to play a role. Could we educate people better at school? Yes, we could. You know, we could look at what's available to people to, to purchase. The government could steer more people towards healthy eating and make it a better policy to understand that while the global pandemic is an unbelievable strain on the medical resources, obesity is waiting in the wings to come up and, and, and take that over as per usual. That is normally one of the biggest drains on it. So remember when you are venting online or venting your problems, they are your problems and humans are inherently selfish. They don't really give a shit. And what you think is the most important thing you have to get off your chest and share with everybody, nobody else cares about. The most important thing though, is to reach out to people that you know will care or reach out to professional people that will care. Doing it on social media is gonna get you nowhere because we don't have a shared context and online everything is lost. And that's something to really bear in mind that when you're going at people is that you have people from so many different demographics that have life experiences that you'll never share and you're trying to get a common ground. Hence we deal with these extremes, hence we have these, you know, these bizarre opinions. I've lost a whole demographic out of the last two videos. And I said it before, jokingly, it was, it's women with cats and dogs you know, who describe themselves as like spiritual, mummy, everything else like that, I've offended them beyond belief. But they haven't appreciated, my context is, I'm not an overweight, overweight woman, I'm not um, struggling with mental health issues, well, not always related to, to eating. Um, so what they feel I've done, I don't share them because I, I feel something else. Now, am I right about everything? Does my, my mold and approach life fit everyone? Absolutely not, because there is no panacea that fixes everybody and makes everyone better. But there is a general common ground and a consensus we can have. And I'm not frightened to put those videos out there and lose a whole section of society because ultimately they were never in my demographic anyway. They were never people that I was gonna share a, a, a joint context with. So that's something to really remember. Remember your shit is your shit. We need to talk about our shit. We don't need to talk about our shit online. You need to, to uh, try to speak to people who are actually gonna care and actually listen. And remember how important you think you are and your business is it's 
not the same for everybody else. And I shared that post about McDonald's and Grenade because it's something I cared about. So many people don't care. And you could say, why do you share it? Because it's my social media channels and it's my place to vent. <laughs> it's my place to share it. If you don't like it, the beauty of social media is you just unfollow or even better, you just block. So try to think about context before you react. And when you see people arguing, and again, I'll go back to politicians, they have to deal with everybody's context. And there's always gonna be people are offended because their life experiences are so different from yours. I come from a privileged background. I have to work hard. I had a career doing something. But mine is not going to be the same as somebody that, that you know, lost their parents, that has no money, has living on the street. We will never meet. We will have common ground about being good people, about trying to understand, about trying to better ourselves. And you know, people from those humblest roots do the best things in life. People from the greatest start fuck up in life. Look at Donald Trump.